Alrighty, what's going on boys and girls? Today, we're gonna talk about money and buying luxury cars and why I pay cash for luxury cars. There's there's a, a lot of talk on the internet about financing cars. Let's go ahead and have this conversation. The great American credit indoctrination syndrome has people drunk on credit. And one of the things that I'm trying to do here in and at Savage Finance is educate people on the benefits of using cash money, creating revenue streams versus financing everything. Because I paid cash for this car. And when I drove it off the lot, it was mine. Now, even if you get a 3.5% interest rate, you're still paying interest. There is no interest on this. And one of the big things that I hear is you know, you could be putting that money to work. I've got a different idea. What about you going to work? If you go to work, you're gonna make more money than your money's working. Because typically, your money's working is only gonna get two to 10%. And 10% is being optimum with everything's going correct. Uh, this whole, it's not a fantasy, because if you get enough money working, you can have a livable income. Like if you had a dividend stock portfolio, you would need about $2 million worth of dividend stock portfolio to get you about $100,000 a year, which you could live on. So your money's working, but it's a lot of money. And th th this is one of the big issues that I have with these folks, because everyone is trying to get out of working trying to rent seek, trying to make a lot of money without doing anything. This is how they get you uh, these seductive YouTube videos like, hey, you know, you could be hanging out with your wife, your kids and your family instead of working. Uh, that is not how this country was built. That is not how we got America going. America became, because people work more than 40 hours a week, you know, the people who went across the country and cut down the trees and create the farms. They were not working 40 hours a week. They were working from sunup to sundown, taking Sunday off, not Saturday, but just Sunday off to go to church and have that fried chicken. So, you know, there, there'll be a lot of people it's like, man, you should have financed the car and put the money in the market. See, since I have no problem working, the money that I spent, I spent $90,000 for this car. The money I spent for this car I should have back within six weeks to two months. Let me say that again. The money that I spent for this car, I should have back in two months, six weeks to two months. Six weeks to two months to get this money back. And that's from me working for the money. See, you need a lot of money in the market to be working for you to get some decent returns. And this is something that a lot of people don't understand. Because, like I said, you know, when I was talking about, uh, I bought the X5, it's a 2012, it was $108,000 brand new, took a big depreciation hit. However, and this car is gonna depreciate, um, I have financial devices that offset the depreciation. I can go out and blow $90,000 on a car and still have money coming in to replace it. And this was not money out of active income. This was money that I had set aside because, you know, I'm waiting for the real estate market to crash. I've been looking, I've been thinking, I've been thinking about this car for about three years. And I was just like, I started going to the market. It's like, you got the money. You know, by the time you get into the real estate thing, you're gonna have the money back. Just go ahead and treat yourself. You worked hard. 
and I, I've decided to treat myself because this is another thing. Because I don't, I'm not a minimalist. I am not pathologically cheap. I do believe in using your money in a certain fashion. I do believe that you should also enjoy your money. You should manage your money well. You should have assets. You should have good credit and all that. But you should also manage your money well. You should not just be stacking and living like a pauper. You, you, money is meant to be enjoyed. It's meant to be used correctly. You, you got to have certain um, protocols in place. But one of the things that people do is they, they use their money to buy simple pleasures all of the time. And this is why a lot of people don't have money. So you got to manage your money correctly. But once again, if you worked hard, you built a financial device, you've got certain things going, you should treat yourself every now and then. Like I said, I've been thinking about this car for three years. I've been looking at them and looking at them and looking at them and looking at them. And then I went to the marketplace and I noticed that the price had come down. And, you know, it's a funny story. The guy I bought this from, his name is Jay at Atlanta Perimeter Porsche. They sold 124 cars. He said, best month they've ever had. So th there's another part to this. I've said this before. There's a group of people, regardless of what the economy is doing, is going to have money. I'm one of those people. I don't care what the economy is doing. It could be melting down. Well, I do care because I know a lot of people are impacted, but I don't care for myself personally because it, it, it doesn't matter if the economy goes down or it, it doesn't matter because my economy is fine. I've actually, you know, because a few years ago I was doing like almost 100K a month and it went down to 40, 50,000 a month. Last month I made 55,000. So this is what I'm saying, and I'm on the upward trend. So I should have the $90,000 that I spent back within six weeks to two months. And that in itself is remarkable because I'll make more money in two months. Then the, I'll actually make more money in one month than the average person makes in a year. So this is the power of creating financial devices. This is the power of being willing to work. Because like I said, there, there's all of this talk about, hey, you know, I'm financing, I'm using credit. I, I have a video on Savage Finance talking about stop freaking out about your FICO score. Because when I was doing the... Um, oxygen bank app links below get it i get 25 you get 25 and they will extend credit to you after 90 days of banking you got to run money through the account but there was someone who was literally freaking out over losing three points off his fico score because it's like do they do a hard pull do they do a hard pull i'm like see when you when you're like I don't have any inquiries on my, well, actually I got one cause I just did something and this will be coming up in Savage Finance, but I have $230,000 worth of credit cards. I only have five. I'm not playing the quote credit card game of, you know, they signing up for this. I have no need because I can direct enough spending on one card cause I typically just use one. I stopped using the Chase Sapphire and I went to uh, a, a Capital One product, which is cash back. And I'm just getting the cash back because I'm not expecting to be traveling anytime soon. You know, I'm one of those people who's like, this is kind of crazy. I'm masking up. So that I can direct enough spend on that one card to get massive rewards, to get massive cash back and going about my life versus playing all of these poor people games. Let me say this again. Playing these poor people games. Because if they had money, they would not be freaking out over their credit score. 
They would not be freaking out over like little stuff, like three points off your FICO score. If your score is that close to subprime territory, you need to work on your credit score. And you need to also judiciously um, That's so sweet. That is so sweet. You need to judiciously work on your credit score and when you apply for credit, you should have a plan. You should just not be willy-nilly applying for credit just to get credit funding so you can say like, oh, I have X amount of credit cards and credit limits and I got a high FICO score. Can you afford to pay cash for a new car? Can you afford to pay cash for a house? Can you afford to pay cash for your next vacation? Can you afford to pay cash? I don't want to hear about your funky credit score if you don't have a long-term savings fund, a short-term savings fund, a family operating account. If you don't have no cash, I don't want to hear about your credit score. And American Express is closing people with good credit. They're closing their accounts down. Dude did this video like he could not figure out what he did. American Express said he used the card incorrectly, whatever that means. I think that was just one of their, their, their frivolous little things to shut him out, to turn him off. But essentially, they're closing down the credit cards of people with good credit. Let me say this again. They're closing down the accounts that you don't use so if you were sitting there like, ha ha, I got $150 of credit limits. Psych, no you don't. They're closing them down. Now if you had cash in the bank, you wouldn't have to worry about your cash disappearing. And let's have this conversation. There, everyone's talking about saving money, you're losing money. Now there are a few high interest uh, savings account where you can put your money into those accounts and that will defer or eradicate your loss of spending power. See, these folks are uninformed. America is drunk on credit. America is drunk. And it, it's like, it's a habit. It's like, tie me off, man. Tie me off. And this habit is bad for your financial health. Because I bought my X5 cash. I bought this Porsche cash. I'm gonna buy my rental properties cash and you know once that you know because part of what i plan on doing is i will use leverage but i'm not going to lose leverage in the beginning because my goal is to get a portfolio of 10 maybe 15 houses pass get some cash flow then use those properties to get loans to buy more properties because see at that point you know, I've got 10 houses, they're making like 2,500 a month, that's $25,000 a month. I've got cash flow to service the loans that isn't coming out of what I'm currently doing. See, this, you know, there's a lot of, in my opinion, irresponsible financial advice here on YouTube because many people are urging you to go ahead and Go ahead and get yourself in a world of debt. Go out and get all this credit card funding. And let's talk about, let's say you have a 750, no, let's say you have an 800 credit score and you got $200,000 in funding and credit and you wanna start a business, but you don't know how to run a business. What do you think's gonna happen? I was watching a video where this guy moved to the Philippines, he and his wife, put a million dollars into this business, the business failed because they didn't know what they were doing. Let me say this again. The business failed because they did not know what they were doing. So you can have a great credit score. You can have um, good funding access. You can get loans, but you don't know how to run the business. And this is why I suggest that you go to 30 days you know, below 30 days to 2,500, you go ahead and get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. You go ahead and get those bad boys and you begin 
to open up your mind and you start a business small so you can learn how to run a business on a small business without a lot of risk of your cash and then take those lessons that you learn about running that little business and take them to a big boy business. You can see, you know, like start small. It's gonna take you two to three years to learn this stuff. That's the issue that so many people don't understand and that is the problem so many people are unaware, are not knowledgeable of. Because like I said, you know, I got good credit. Like right now, I'm not trying to take a dump on the trucking industry, but there are people in the trucking industry who have trucks, who know trucking, and they're going out of business. So you are gonna go out and get you one truck, get you one driver, and get this so-called passive income. Stop with the passive income. Work for your money. You will make more, it will be easier, you will enjoy life, it's just gonna be a party. It's gonna be a party. This whole notion, cause I, I, I don't know, I'm a child that was born in 1966 and I don't have a problem working for my money. I have no problem. And there's a lot of folks, some people who have been banned from the plantation, who feel, you know, that I took a shortcut and all this other stuff when I work my ass off. My girlfriend be complaining about how hard I work. Because, you know, I enjoy what I do. I really do. I enjoy what I do. I love what I do. I love the consults. I love talking to people. I love creating these educational courses. I love giving sound financial advice. I love what I do. And I'm not afraid to go out and work. But there's so many people who are just lazy. Lazy, 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 lazy. Who just want to be up under Big Booty Betty all day watching Pokemon shows and anime. And they don't understand what they have to do to become one of the people who has money during this pandemic. I am one of the people, like, like I said, uh, with the Porsche dealership, dude was telling me they sold 124 cars, record month, and I know why. The people with money, we're seeing the deals. I mean, this car would have cost me like probably 105 if things were, you know, booming, if things were good. So I saved 15K on the 90, I mean, that's, that's kind of funny. It's like, it's still 90,000. I mean, I could have bought a rental property in the hood or in the country for 90,000 and maybe cash flow at seven, 800 bucks. But I'm like, eh, I'm gonna wait and I'm going to, let me tell you my real estate plan. My real estate plan is to buy houses that are 250, and above because I can get two thousand to three thousand dollars rent for those homes because that's the market I want to serve because uh, what I plan on doing is buying property 2021 that's the year and I'm gonna get a discount because I'm not gonna pay them what they're asking I'm like I got cash money I can close in 10 days this is my offer so I will be making a bunch of offers I know because a lot of people are going like I can't sell it for that but there will be people who will so I'm going to go in with escalated escalated you know escalated equity I'm going to go into these properties I'll pay 250 it'll be worth 280 maybe 300 and that's how I'm gonna roll. So I'm gonna make money on the appreciation of the property. I'm gonna walk in, because I'm paying cash, once again, you know, not this leverage stuff, not, you know, instead of paying $250,000 for one house, you should put $50,000 and get loans. I'm not playing that game. I'm not playing that game. I got a video that's coming up. I'll give you a little preview. Do you know that if you well, actually, oh man, that's nice. Um, you can buy one house and that one house can be your retirement. You know, just one. And a lot of people don't understand the power of ownership. When you own stuff, 
Because, like, I, I put up a video talking about family trust and everything, and people's like, hey, can you do that? Stop trying to hustle your way into proper financial setups. Stop trying to jerry-rig, you know, do it correctly. If you're going to have a family trust, once again, the assets that you're going to place in the trust need to be paid off. Yes, you could put a house with a mortgage in the trust, but guess what? You stop paying that mortgage, the bank will be the first lien holder, and they're going to foreclose on that house even though it's in the trust, which is still going to be a little tricky how you got to do that. So sit down, stop rent-seeking, start working hard. Yes, more than 40. Like, look, you got your job. You're going to work your 40 hours, then you're going to come home and work another 50 on your business. That's the plan. So you could be in a position in the future where you could pay cash for cars, where you could pay cash for a house, where you could, you know, be living well and enjoying yourself. Like you guys, you know, I had a heart attack last year. Did I lose anything? Nope. Let me say it again. The principles that I speak of, the things that I talk about, they work they work if you listen to me and stop trying to cheat if you stop trying to uh hustle your way uh, figure out a shortcut because like i said when i realized that for me to become wealthy i was going to have to sit down i was going to have to work really hard and i was going to have to stop rent seeking because like i said i used to be like you guys i was like this is how I got suckered into buying all of these scam courses because I bought all these courses like, hey, you know, you can do this and you can make $7,000 a month only for $39.99. That was like, yeah, I'm going to buy this. And I was buying all this junk and crap. And I was like, okay, this, this doesn't work. This doesn't work at all. It, it's really junk. And this is one of the reasons because, look, I'm here to tell you. The straightest path to getting wealthy is to start a service or business that serves people. That's going to make you money a lot quicker than you trying to rent seek and do all of this stuff. Like there's a lot of stuff with the internet. I'm getting ready to do all of my banking with credit unions and fintechs. The only reason I am going to leave my Chase account open is it's free. If you didn't know, if you are a veteran, Chase, Chase will open as many checking accounts as you want for free. So thank you, Chase, for serving our veterans like that. That's really cool because uh, I'll keep that account as a local account because, you know, like what I had to do was transfer money from my high interest savings account back to Chase so Chase can cut me a cashier's check to pick up this Porsche. So... And actually, you know, for those of you who are interested, wire transfers are very interesting. It used to take a little amount, but typically now, they can do a wire transfer the same day. If you, you do your wire transfer at 10 a.m., it should be at the designation bank by 12 or 1 p.m. Just a, a little word of advice. You know, I'm giving you big boy finance. I'm not giving you these games. I'm giving you the real deal. I'm giving you the stuff that you need to go ahead and start putting your financial life together so you can be over here with me in the rich part of town where the old folks don't look their age because they got money money matters man money 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 matters money matters this whole notion like oh, money don't money don't buy no happiness uh let, let's put it this way uh, money is the reason that I got the best treatment after my heart attack. Uh, my cardiologist is like tops in the nation. All right. Oh, you and your your little mutt. My cardiologist is tops in the nation, world renowned, and um, uh, that's why I'm here to talk to you. That's why I'm here to drop these jewels. Because I'm telling you, you know, 
Um, one of the things that you guys have got to do to start a business, like this pandemic has not opened up your eyes to how vulnerable you are. Just um, what what is going on with you? I don't know what will. I don't know what will set you, set your souls on fire, but I'm here to tell you, um, you got to do something. You got to do more. You, you got to do more because like, I remember a chick I used to date and we were riding around my neighborhood and she kept asking this question, what do these people do? Because these are not, you, don't, you live in a million dollar house. You, you don't have an average income. You're not living an average life. Just facts, as they say on these internet streets. You, you're not average. You're above average. If you're living over here in one of these 1.2 to, I think the houses go up to, I think there's a house around the corner that's for 40 million. It's on an eight acre estate. The house is like 20,000 square feet. You, you ain't average living like that. And you know, what I've noticed over the years, over the last 11 years, that little ranch houses that are over here are disappearing because people are buying these the land because the ranch house sits on the acre and they're buying that house and knocking it down <laughs> and building what they want. Building what they want. These folks' ambitions will not be denied. They will not be denied. They're doing what they want to do. Doing it how they want to do it. Making that money. And I'm, I'm telling you, money matters. You want to get yourself some money. You want to get yourself a business. You want to start. Like, I was a person who... I, I started on this journey with a job. I did not quit my job. I started with Rent a Crate. Then I went to panel systems and I went to business environments. And while I was at business environments, while I had a job, is when I started my first successful business. Let me say this again. When I had a job, I'm not telling you guys to quit your job like some of these internet marketers. Quit your job. Tell your boss. You just, because they, they, they're playing on your emotions. Like, yeah, you hate your job. You know why you're working the job you work? Because that's all that you are fit to do. That's it. That's the deal. That's the ticket. Because if you were had the skills to do more, to do better, you would be. You would be. So if you're working some suck job, it's because your skills suck. Be an adult, face reality. And no, that's, that's why you're working that suck job. You know, because I'm like, yeah, man, I got a CEO mindset. Okay, all right, I, I can understand that. But do you have CEO skills? Do you know how to put an organization together? Do you know how to properly hire people? Do you know how to strategically run a company? Oh, you don't. That's why you, with those CEO, that CEO mindset, working that chump change job. Because what you do is a reflection of who you are. It's not a reflection of who you can be, but it's a reflection of who you are at the moment. And like many of you, I'm gonna just keep it a buck. Many of you, I was a bum. I was just a bum. And I didn't have no skills. I was a nice person and I was just like, hey, you know, I'm a nice person. I should have a nice life. I should get some money. Uh, that, that wasn't the ticket, man. That wasn't the ticket. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this little conversation. Hopefully you got something out of it. Go below, get 30 days to 2,500, get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. Sign up for the Oxygen Bank app. I get 25 bucks, you get 25 bucks. Once you fund the account to 200 bucks and you use the debit card within five, five times within 60 days, and this is where you should put your new hustle money. I'm going to do a full report on how much credit they're going to give me because I plan, like I've already run 14,000 last month through there and I'm probably going to run like 15,000 through there this month. So we will see 
what they're gonna do with those numbers. And I will be doing more um, videos over at Savage Finance talking about banks that will extend you credit without a check on your FICO! Your funky FICO! Your funky FICO! So that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to watch the next video.